This is a DIY handheld gamepad made using ESP32 microcontroller. You may have seen such game controllers before, but most of them use Arduino, or more specifically Arduino Pro Micro or Leonardo board, because those boards support HID or human interface devices over USB. But ESP32 doesn't have such feature, so how do we do it? Well, ESP32 does have BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy built-in, which we can use to communicate wirelessly over Bluetooth. And that is what we are going to use today to make our gamepad talk to the host device. First, let's have a look at the hardware. The gamepad that I designed has two analog joysticks, two trigger buttons, two D-pads, some addressable RGB LEDs, and AI Square C port. It can run using two 18650 lithium-ion battery, which can be charged using the USB Type-C port. And it can also be used to program the microcontroller. This is the schematic diagram. As you can see, we have the ESP32 module as the central controller, then we have the USB Type-C port, and a 3.3 volt regulator. Then we have the programming circuit, using CH3240C USB to serial IC. We also have a battery charging circuit, along with overcharge, and over discharge protection. which then boost up to 5 volt using the boost converter IC. Next we have the joysticks, D-pad buttons, trigger buttons, NeoPixel LEDs, i square c port. And finally a 3-way switch to toggle between USB power and battery power. Then I made this custom PCB for this project. The design is inspired by the new PS5 controller, which give it a better look. After designing the PCB, I head over to PCBBase website, for manufacturing, who are also sponsoring this video. Ordering PCBs from PCBBay is very simple. First open up PCBBay's website, and then go to the instant quote page. There click on quick order PCB, and then upload your gerber files. Select quantities, thickness and color masking. And finally, pay for your order. Within a few days, you will receive high quality PCBs from PCBBay. So do check out PCBBay to get your PCBs manufactured professionally. This is the PCB for our project. If you want to get the same PCB as mine, then check the link in the description. After soldering all the components, the PCB will look like this. You can get all the necessary details regarding this project, schematic and the parts list, in the project page. Link is in the description. However there are some mistakes in this PCB, which I will talk about later. But I already corrected them in the latest version, so feel free to use it. First let's see if we can program the board. For that, I opened up an example sketch, from the fast LED library. Then changed the parameters. And it gets uploaded successfully. So the programming circuit is working perfectly. Next, we will test the battery charging system. In the board, GPI Open 4 is connected to the battery, via a voltage divider circuit. I wrote a small program, to measure the battery voltage. And as you can see, we are able to receive the battery voltage, on the serial monitor. So everything is fine, and we can proceed to the final code. But before we start, if you find this project interesting, then please subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell, to get notified. Now to make our life easier, Lemming Dave built this BLE gamepad library. We will use this library in our project. This is the code for this project. Here I have defined all the pins, and some variables. Then some initial LED animations. In the loop section, as soon as the board is connected to the device, all LEDs will turn green. 
and it will check battery voltage in a time interval which is defined earlier. Then we get the button states and set the gamepad buttons accordingly. Then we read the analog inputs and map it to the suitable values. And finally set the axis according to the values we just received. But here is the problem. In my design, I connected the right joystick to the ADC2 channel. And I found out later that it doesn't work when Bluetooth or Wi-Fi is running. So I have to connect it back to ADC1 channel to make it work. Now let's upload the code and see it in action. After uploading was done, I turned on Bluetooth on my phone and as you can see, we found a new device. So just pair with it. I also found an app, which you can use to test any gamepad. This indicates that, our controller is working properly. At this time we can't see the battery level in Android, as mentioned in the library page. But we can see it, if we connect the gamepad to a computer. So I modified the code a bit, which turns the LED red, when the battery voltage is below threshold level. With that being said, it's time to play some games. If you enjoy the project, then please give it a like, comment which game you want to play on it, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.